Today I'll show you how to prepare angko, both on the tsubuan and koshian style. The night before, we soak the tsuki beans in water. The next day, they're ready to cook. Drain the water and rinse the atsuki. In a pot, add the atsuki beans with enough water to cover them. Heat the pot over high heat. As soon as the water starts to boil, cover and turn off the heat. Let them stand for 5 minutes. We're gonna drain the atsuki once more. Pour them back into the pot and once again add enough water to cover them. Put the pot over high heat. As soon as it starts to boil, lower the heat and leave it simmering for about 1 hour. The water will evaporate, so it's important to keep adding some more. After 1 hour, check the beans. Keep in mind that this time is relative and it can take up to 2 hours. This will depend on the type of water, how long they have been soaking and how old the beans are. They are ready for the next step when you can take a bean between two chopsticks or two fingers and you can squash it easily. Turn up the heat once more, add a pinch of salt and stir in constantly at the sugar. The Tsubuan style anko is ready as soon as it thickens and you can see the bottom of the pot for a couple of seconds. Once ready, pour the Tsubuan anko on a plate and let it cool. Do not leave it on the pot. To transform it into Koshian style, you just need to pass it through a strainer. If you don't have this kind of strainer, don't worry, you can use a normal one, as I did for more than 3 years. This step will allow us to get the smooth and homogeneous texture of Koshian. If you like this recipe, don't miss those two.